uh, I started contributing to iStock and then got accepted to shoot for Getty. Um, so I was a Getty house contributor for many years and, um, and I started getting actually real checks from them. So when you, uh, say you started doing stock photography, Mm -hmm. are you going through your own archives of what you've already shot or are they putting you on assignment to go out and and shoot? No, it wasn't assignment based. It was all, um, it was all individually based, whatever, whatever you want to turn in that you think will sell. Um, and so, so it was, it was fun. I could, I could go and shoot whatever. And, um, a lot of times I just really deeply explored Madison and, um, and found a lot of images at different times of the day and everything that, that, uh, hopefully people would use for their advertising. Was it a lot of guesswork when you're doing stock photography? Was it, was it understanding what's popular and what's not, or, or what would someone actually want as a, if they were going to purchase the photo? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of guesswork, but it's a little bit of luck too. Um, I have my best selling photo is this carnival at night fairway shot. And, um, yeah, it's just sold a lot. Carnival industry is really <laughs> blowing up right now. I can see why. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I never would have guessed that would be my most uh, sold shot, but it is. And uh, and so I, I just think that's the luck of the draw. Was that part of um, an idea for you to start making money off of your art was to look to sites like Getty or iStock um, that will sell your, your work? Yeah, that was the first opportunity that I had. Um, that one, you know, I got accepted and I learned um, the technical chops of the, of the um, industry. So, yeah, they were really picky about no sensor noise, really sharp, you know, well exposed. Um, so, so I learned the technical chops there. I can imagine a lot of that being... Uh, uh, I don't know if, if for you, did you experience for uh, stock photography, if they would come back and say, well, this photo is not quite right. Was that kind of disheartening to you? Cause you spent all that time processing your, your photos and going through Photoshop to each one. And you're going, wow, this is great. Someone's going to buy this. And then. Yes and no. <laughs> yeah. I still have a folder called rejects that, oh. uh, that they, that they, you know, turned down and that's fine. Um, it, uh, it did sharpen my, my technical skills. Um, you know, they, they had really well-defined reasons why they wouldn't accept it. It wasn't, you know, um, well, we don't like the picture of that model or anything like that. It was, it was just, you know, it's not, uh, it's not sharp enough or it's overexposed or underexposed. Did you ever go and do any reshoots? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Try Um, to correct the mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. 